Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we're doing what might be the last unboxing of all time. It's probably not gonna be, because other people are gonna do them probably between now and the time YouTube explodes. And YouTube might not even explode, so it's not really all doom and gloom, but clickbait, hashtag get in before the getting's bad, hashtag not a saying, said it anyway. All right, moving on to what we're gonna do today. I've got a bunch of boxes. We're gonna open them. We're gonna see what's inside. We're gonna see what I'm gonna re be reviewing before the end of the year. Uh, I have plenty of time to do that. Hopefully YouTube doesn't explode by then. Otherwise I have until like December 10th until everything's potentially terrible. So we'll see. I don't know. I still wanna do, let me know if you guys want this, but I still wanna do a top some number of figures of the decade. I've uh, been reviewing for this past decade, so I should be able to pull out some good stuff, I think. Uh, it's going to be pretty tricky. I might have to do more than 10 because we're talking about 10 years worth of stuff. So I don't know how that's going to work. And it's not like I could just pick the first one, number one from the last 10 years of the top 10 because I haven't been doing it the whole time. And I don't know that that would be a great way of doing it anyway because just because it was the top figure of one year doesn't make it better than number two, for example, of the year prior or the year next, whatever. So we'll see, if you guys want that kind of thing, I might do it. Definitely have to do a top 10 for this year. Uh, I don't know how much we're gonna milk the top 10 stuff before the end of the year because it could be like every day and I don't I don't think you guys want that. I don't know if I wanna do that. But I definitely have to do reviews for some of this stuff. So we're gonna do that for sure. Um, I wanna point out one last time because it's almost time and I'm doing this for you guys because the last time I did the Beast Head sale, I sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them and it still wasn't enough. So now that I'm doing the second chance sale, I'm pretty sure it's gonna sell out like that. And so if you are interested in one, be prepared, be checking the videos, because I don't know which day I'm gonna upload the sale video, which day it's gonna start, but there's a good chance that the painted heads are gonna sell out like that. I got it that time. So I'm just letting you guys know it's coming up very soon this week sometime. I'm still have to paint the last batch. I have a couple already done, but I have a couple I need to finish still. So I don't know if I'm gonna wait until I'm exactly done or just close to whatever, either way, very soon. So make sure you're checking the uploads every day and hope that it doesn't sell out before too long um, if you want one. Otherwise I'll be selling like um, unfinished heads that need to be like trimmed and that kind of stuff just to get my leftovers out of here and to help people who don't want to spend the full price it'll be a lot cheaper but it will require some work to get them into presentable form okay then once that's done we're going to do gambit sometime soon after that maybe like right after maybe like once it's completely done i don't know yet but keep an eye out okay that's enough of that let's go ahead and get into the unboxing The first two things I want to show you, I've already unboxed because I wasn't going to do an unboxing and then I was like, I should do an unboxing. So the first one is the Dragon Ball figure arts of Bulma in her original outfit with a uh, pervert Goku to interact with. Not that she comes with him, but you know what I mean if you watched it. So we have that. I'll be reviewing that. Not the most exciting figure. Most people probably don't care, but it is something for Dragon Ball fans. So we're going to do that. I did also get Black Arachnia, which... Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now I already opened it and took it out because it doesn't have a window so I could do that and it is Fantastic, it's so good You know people like to complain about transformers a lot. Oh, it doesn't transform perfectly It doesn't look exactly like an anatomically correct spider and also a robot lady uh, Yeah, that's generally how it works. This one does a good enough job in spider mode and a perfect, almost perfect job in robot mode. We're gonna get to the review. Make sure you still watch the review because views, but if you're collecting Beast Wars, get it while the getting's good. Though they don't seem to sell out, so I don't know, maybe you get it cheaper down the road if you wanna wait. But either way, I'm gonna be reviewing it very soon and it's awesome. All right, next box. Okay, this next box, where's my knife? This next box came directly from the folks over at Hia Toys. You guys know they send me review samples for their stuff because I don't collect it but a lot of my viewers like the smaller scale stuff, so they send me review samples to review. And so that's what's in here. Um, I don't know what it is. I wanna say it's Injustice stuff, cause that's what's on the box, but it's clearly not the like original carton. So it could be, could be a bunch of different things in here. I don't know, we're gonna see 
of what it is. I know there's some injustice and some predator. Whoa, goodness gracious. There's more in here than I thought. That's what she said? I don't know. So there's one of them. That guy's known as Mr. Fast. We'll be reviewing him. That's the Injustice 2 version of him. Here's the Scout from Predator 2. The Predators are very nice figures. Not always the most poseable, but for the size, incredibly well detailed. Oh my, is what she said. There's a Stalker from Predator 2. I didn't realize there was so much stuff in here. I've been sitting on this for like a week to, to do the unboxing and, and there's Joker from Injustice 2 with his no shirt on underneath his jacket. Okay, here's Wonder Whammon from Injustice 2. Actually looks really good. Sweet. You guys are gonna be psyched, all you smaller scale collectors. Ooh, this guy looks cool. This is the uh, Lost Predator from Injustice 2. No, from Predator 2. I hope he has an ending. See what I did there? Pop culture reference, anybody? Bonus points if you got it. All right. Here we have the Shaman Predator. I don't know any of these guys. So all these companies keep making Predator 2 movie figures. And yeah, technically they were in the movie, but like not really. So only the most hardcore Predator fans would know what they're talking about. But that's okay, they look cool. And here we have um, Super Lady, Supergirl from Injustice 2. Everything's a sequel in this box. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. So that's a bunch. Let's do that. So we have four, we have eight. We have uh, four Predators and two Injustice peoples. Or two, did I say two? Four, we have four and four. All right, you guys should be happy about that. These guys actually look really good. I gotta say, the Predators especially, um, they do a really good job for the scale. Be on the lookout for these reviews. If you haven't seen them, I've reviewed almost all of their other ones and they're pretty solid. Looks like the faces are getting a little bit better for the humans. Still a little cartoonish, but not bad. Let's stack these like this. Are they in the way? Yes. We'll stack these like this. All right. Next box is something that was sent to me from Pokemon. The Pokemon people. They sent me two boxes. I don't know what's inside at all. They said, hey, we would like to send you this stuff for the holiday season. And if you'd like to put it on your internet channel thingy, then you can do that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm not getting paid to do it, they just sent me the stuff. I don't know what it is, it could be awesome stuff, it could be little kid stuff. I don't think it is, but we'll see. The first box is like this. It's a big one. I can't show you the front because it has my address on it and I'm afraid for my life because of some of you. Some of you guys say really, really weird, like, hateful stuff. Not some of you, very few of you. And that's okay, I expect that on the internet. But the ones that worry me the most are the ones that say really, really weird, nice things. Because those are the ones you gotta watch out for. Everybody's angry on the internet, so the hateful stuff you can ignore. But the ones that are like, I wanna make a blanket out of your hair and sleep in it, that kinda worries me a little bit, because I don't have that much hair. So where are they taking it from? I don't know. What is going on here? This is a giant thing. Is this just like promo stuff? I have no idea what this is. All right, let's do this. So this is what it looks like. I see Cosmic Eclipse on there. I don't know what that is. That looks like maybe one of the, one of the card uh, game expansions. I don't know what this is. Yeah, it says Pokemon trading card game. Is this just, is this like an event calendar? This is an event calendar, I think, and that's cool. I mean, obviously if you're not into Pokemon, it's not that cool, but just the fact that they made their own event calendar, I'm guessing that's what it is. There's no indication as to what it is. I'm guessing this is like a, maybe something for store displays. Let's untie the Rebon. And somebody asked me recently why I say words like that, and it's just for fun. Because why not? I think the English language is interesting and funny, and to pronounce things incorrectly makes it even more fun. So this does appear to be an event calendar. There's a stand thing on the back. How does this work? You just fold this out. I don't think this is something you can buy. If it is, you know, it very well could be, actually, now that I think about it. This might be something you can buy for your kid, and then, like, I'm guessing there are Pokemon cards in there. I don't know. That's uh, Dialga and uh, Palkia, is that their names? I think that's their names. Oh, 
and probably Arce Arceus, I don't know. Anyway, are there 25? What do we have here? We have, where are the numbers? I mean, I see some, one? Oh, they're all over. Okay, so we have one here. Is 25 the highest? Which would be Christmas? I'm guessing this is a Christmas event count, 25. All right, let's just open up one and see how this works. So you poke that, I'm guessing. Again, they just sent me stuff, said here, do what you want. So I don't know what this stuff is and they didn't tell me anything. So we're just, we're flying by the seat of our pants here. I'm afraid I'm gonna rip this too much. Let's see. All right, we're getting there. Okay. Is it, a, do I get a whole pack every time? <sighs> Pokemon cards. Okay, so those of you that didn't grow up on Pokemon cards, you think like, oh, this guy's a big doofus. And those of you that did, you know that there is something special and fun and nostalgic about opening packs of Pokemon cards. And so we're gonna open this pack. I'm not gonna do the rest of these. Maybe I'll do one like every day and post it on Instagram. I'm sure that's what they had in mind. So maybe I'll do that. If you guys are interested in that, do that. Uh, follow me on Instagram. It said, it is said that time began moving when Dialga was born. All right, so it has a little thing on there and a little card pack. We're not gonna open each one of these right now because that would take forever. Let me set it down. We're gonna pop open this pack real quick just because I know those of you that are Pokemon people, you're like all into this right now. You're like, yes, do it. I don't know what the thing is. So I'm gonna do it for you guys to make it as good as I can. I think it's probably three. I'm gonna put three in front. And I think, I think this four, last one should be the special card of the special cards. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. So I'll just do it this way. So there you go. We got something, I don't know, Pig Knight, is that his name? Pig Knight, okay, don't know, Zangoose. We're doing a, an impromptu pack opening. We got Gloom. And then we have a code, if any of you are into the online codes, hopefully you can see that, you can have it. Snow Runt. Yo, this is like classic artwork coughing. That brings back all the memories. You guys remember those, that old artwork? Oh, is that Ken Sugimori? No, it's just made to look like, is it Ken Sugimori? Did I get the name right? I don't know. Drillbur, I don't know any of these Pokemon except for coughing so far. And maybe Zangoose. Swirlix, it's another one. That's a Pokemon. Here's one, Cr Cricketot, that's a, that's a thing for sure. It's a Pokemon. And, okay, so we have a reverse hollow, which I'm guessing every pack gets one reverse hollow. And that's cool, because that's Decidueye, and he's, uh, he's awesome. And then we have our, our rare card, or our star card, I can't remember what they're called anymore, Go Lurk, which is not a holographic, which is a bummer, and you can try to guess the energy card real quick if anybody wants to, it's water. Okay, Pokemon card pack opening, done. That's fun, I love Pokemon cards. I don't really collect them anymore, but I still love them. All right. But that's not it, there's still more. Mr. Pokemon himself, I think is who did this, actually sent me another box. So let's open that too. Okay, so that's this right here. It's uh, really big and heavy and that's probably something she said at some point. And I don't know what's in this. If it's just a bunch of Pokemon cards, I'd be amazed. It's not, probably, but it could be. But let's find out. It's like seven pounds. I think seven and a half pounds is what it said on the label. So it's probably a little less than that, but that's a lot of Pokemon product. The average action figure is like a third of a pound. So just to give you an idea, we could have like a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull things out from here. I don't know what this is. Uh, oh, this is the thing they sent me. Just to say, hi, thanks, here's some stuff. Okay, so that's just like a little greeting thing from Pokemon Company International, that's who actually did this. I don't know that that's separate from the Pokemon company. Is the international branch a separate branch? I don't know. All right, so first thing we got, like I said, some of this stuff is probably gonna be less directed toward me and my audience and some towards other people, but we got a stuffed animal. It's very soft. It's exceedingly soft. If you just like doing this on things, you would, you would enjoy this. This thing's name is Sobble or Larmelion. I guess that's the international name. And that's a Pokemon. And that's what he looks like. And he's very, very soft. All right, we're gonna set him aside. We got some card stuff, it looks like. It looks like they just sent a bunch of cards. So this is a GX 
a special collection set. So there's a Pikachu and Eevee on there, probably having to do with uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, if I'm guessing. You know, to kind of play on that. So we have some more cards there. I guess we're going to do some Pokemon card openings, guys, because what the hell? YouTube's going to explode anyway, so we might as well. It looks like they just sent a bunch of stuff. I mean, obviously they sent a bunch of stuff. A bunch of cards. Like, I love it. <laughs> I don't know how much you guys care about that on my channel, but I love it. So this is drinkware. Oh, this is like a coffee mug, I guess. This is not a Pokemon card. Unless there's a new trainer box called drinkware. I've never heard that word before. Drinkware. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like flatware, drinkware. Let's see. It's heavy. This is where most of the weight came from. I can't open it. This is like Christmas for me. I'm getting Christmas gifts. It's a big coffee, well not that big. It's a coffee mug of Score Bunny or Scorbunny. That's one of the new starters, I think. Is it? I don't know, it could be. I didn't play the new games. I might, but I don't have time for it right now. So we got a coffee mug. Pretty nice mug, not bad. All right, moving on. What else? There's more stuff, by the way, guys. There's like a big ass, big bad toy store box. We're gonna get to that, but I gotta do this. So we're gonna do this. All right, here we have an elite trainer box for Pokemon trading card game, Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. There's those three guys on there again. And that's what's inside. Lots more cards. And things, so you can play the game. If you're a youngster out there, though, not most, most of my audience is, this is the kind of thing you wanna get if you wanna start playing the game. It comes with like all the different things you need in order to play the game. I never did play the game, not really anyway. I always just collected them because I like the artwork, but hey. You can do whatever you want with it. All right, we have two more things in this box, I think. One is another special pack. Look at the giant card in there. That's kind of cool. Then we have three other guys down here. Are these the new starters? Yeah, these are the new starters. So you have Scorbunny, Grookel, and, uh, and um, Grookey. Scorbunny, Grookey, and Sobble. I don't know. I didn't play the games. Leave me alone. So there's another pack of cards with more cards and packs inside. And let's see what we have here. This is a big box. I think this is probably the key to Pokemon Tower. I think they probably gave me that because they know how much of a fan I am. All right, so this is, it says Pokemon Company International. It says Pokemon on the top and it's a snowy scene. No indication what's in there. It's a Pokemon, no it's not. It is kind of, actually. It's a Pikachu in, is that Pikachu? Yeah, it's Pikachu. I wanted to make sure it wasn't like some new snow version of Pikachu. He's got his little snow hoodie on and it's like, he's wearing a snow outfit. It's another stuffed animal. I am, um, you know, I'm a huge stuffed animal collector. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. But hey, if you're into that sort of thing, there's Pikachu in like the, the freshest gear, as they say. Oh, look, he also has like a little Santa beard thing that you can put on him. Okay, there's one other thing in here, what's this? Uh, some pins it looks like? Yeah, some, some pins, oh, cards. It says pins and cards, let's open it and see. It says pin and card set, like Christmas, oh, it's Christmas card, we don't have to open it. So like a season's greetings card. So that's something you could send somebody. And there you go, all right, well thanks Pokemon International. I appreciate you guys sending this stuff and I'll make some more content. I closed that and it shot stuff off of I will make some more content for that. If you guys like Pokemon stuff, I'll be doing it. If you don't, don't watch it. All right, I do have one big bad toy store, big bad box to open, so let's do that. Okay, it's a heavy one. If I had a nickel every time I made that noise in my life, I'll tell you. All right, can we, I can't. All thanks to the pile of loot feature at Big Bed's Toy Store, link in the description below if you want to buy collectibles from someplace online. That's a place I would consider considering if I was you. Okay, let's get all this stuff out of the way. Let me hide my address from all of you stalkers. And let's see what's in here. This is bigger than I thought. Okay. What the heck did I buy? I don't remember buying a bunch of stuff. First thing is Doom Guy. Doom. It's time to chew bubble gum and I'm all out of gum. All right, there's one. And the next thing, what did I buy here? What is this? Oh, this is a Gundam. This is a high res 
uh, God Gundam, and I love it. I think. I haven't played with it yet because it's still in the box, but it looks cool. Okay, this isn't going to work. Okay, next two things. Sub-Zero and Scorpion. The McFarland variety. Variety. English. I've heard they're actually really good for what they are, so I'm looking forward to opening them and seeing. They seem to be, they're definitely big. They're really tall. Um, so we'll see. Seven inch scale it looks like. Next up is, oh, I, I guess I ordered another Sagat. We already reviewed that one, so take a look at him. He's a good one. There you go. Enjoy looking at that. All right, next, Cyrex. Is he the only uh, cyborg that isn't from another ninja? Because the other ones all have like smoke. What are the other ones' names? Smoke is one of them. I reviewed him. Then there's Cyrax, and then there's the red one. I don't know. Whatever. This is the Big Bad Toy Store exclusive one, so it comes with an extra accessory. Should be good. The other guy was good. Uh, next up, we have uh, Caesar Zapelli from JoJo's. Rounding out my collection. Pretty close to done with that. Pretty psyched about that. And then, of course, we have the P2 version of Joseph Joestar. Does it actually say second on it? It doesn't. Um, but I have the green one also. I actually reviewed that one. So if you like the P1 version from the anime, that's the green one. This is P1 for the manga, I believe. And, oh, I guess I ordered a Broly. I already have Broly. I, don't, I guess I got another one. All right, there's Broly. <laughs> And, oh yeah, Mr. Pickles. I'm really excited about this. Look how big he is. That's a big one, and I'm psyched. I can't wait for a new, like, regular Mr. Piccolo. Because the bad guy Piccolo is cool, but Mr. Piccolo, Gohan's dad, way cooler. I know it's kind of like the same guy. Don't, don't start. I get it, all right? You know what I mean. All right, we have two more things in here. What do we have left? We have this pack, which is, holy sh... I'm not going to swear, but holy baloney. That guy's forearms are Im incredibly large. And I want to make so many jokes, but it's inappropriate, and I'm not going to. But holy macaroni, that guy's forearms are... Holy crap! Like, they made his jacket puffy, because he's supposed to have a puffy jacket, and then his forearms are the same size as the jacket. Can you see that? Holy crap! My goodness, that guy's not gonna. All right, and then, what the heck? I have two of these? I wanted one with Cyclops and Wolverine and Jean. I thought I, how do I, why do I have two of these? I have two of these. All right, well, that's it, guys. That's it for the unboxing. That's everything. Big thanks to Hia for sending me the Injustice and Predator stuff. Big thanks to Pokemon for sending me all the Pokemon stuff. Big thanks to you guys for watching this whole video. If you made it this far in the video, which is about a 20 minute video it looks like, just let me know in the comment section below by saying, wow, those are big forearms. That's too long, don't say that. Just type in forearms, that's enough. One word, I'll, I'll know you made it here and I appreciate you. All right, guys, that'll do it. Stick around. I'm going to be reviewing all this stuff. If you're into the Pokemon stuff, let me know because I'll be doing some kind of uh, pack opening video for you guys. I know some of you at least like that, so let me know if you want to see that. And let me know which things you want to see me review first. Do you want to see Sub-Zero and Scorpion? Do you want to see the God Gundam? Do you want to see Cyrex? Do you want to see Mr. Pickles? Do you want to see Forearm Guy? Black Rat? There's lots of stuff here. I covered a wide variety of things, so let me know what you want to see first, and I'll try to do that for you. Uh, remember, make sure you subscribe because I have the Beast Head sale coming up very soon and you're going to miss out, probably. can't say for sure, but it's probable if you're not there quickly. So subscribe for that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.